students welcome to Sunil's tutorial i am sunil manwani and today we will be doing this chapter called as foreign exchange arithmetic i am going to teach you today something new called as interest rate arbitrage how do i make money by buying and selling simultaneously just because the rate of interest is different different countries have different rates of interest I can take advantage of this and make money just by buying and selling the currency. Let's see this. I'll explain this to you with the help of an example. Suppose let's consider US dollar, Canadian dollar, spot is 1.1620. US dollar, Canadian dollar, three month forward is say. 1.1640 then US dollar interest rate is 4% Canadian dollar interest rate is 5% identify and calculate arbitrage interest rate arbitrage Right? They've given you the spot rate, they've given you the forward rate. Right? How do I find out should I go into this transaction or no? Right? A. The first thing that you do is you find out F minus S upon F. Right? Now, forward rate. Forward rate is given to you as 1.1640 minus spot rate is 1.1620 upon. 1.1620 right which comes to someone please tell me 0 0.0017 forward rate spot rate 1 spot rate the next thing that you find out is rate of interest in variable currency minus rate of interest in base currency upon 100 into n by 12 right now when you are Two currencies given to you. The first currency is the base currency, the second currency is the variable currency. That means Canadian dollars are my variable currency, uh, US dollar is base currency upon 100 into 3 by 12. Right? Let's solve this. Summary solve this. This comes to 0 0.0025. Right? Now, the next step. So, first you find out the difference between the ratio of the forward and the spot rate. Next you find out the ratio of your difference of interest. Now if as I can say that the difference between the interest is greater than the dis difference between the currency rate therefore arbitrage possible. Now how do I make money here? First of all I should know is it possible to make money? Right? How do I make money if A is sorry if B is greater than A? You borrow from base currency and you invest in variable currency. Guys, uh, in the examination hall, how do I remember this? B is greater. B stands for borrow in base. So therefore, borrow in base currency. and invest in variable currency right so now that means I need to borrow money from where am I going to borrow money now <coughs> let us assume that the principal amount amount borrowed is 1 million of base currency which is my base currency here US dollar right now if this is the amount I'm borrowing if I'm going to borrow from a US bank I have to pay them interest right so that interest that I pay them is cost called as cost of borrowing I'm 1 million US dollars I'm borrowing at a rate of interest in variable uh, sorry, base currency is 4% for 3 months so my cost of borrowing is going to be 10,000 US dollars 
right? That means at the end of three months, the amount repayable, amount payable, I have borrowed one lakh US dollars. Sorry, ten lakh US dollars. That's your one million dollars plus ten thousand. So this is going to be. This is the amount that is going to be payable. Ten lakh, ten thousand US dollars, right? Now, I am going to send this money to Canada. I borrowed the money. I said borrow in base currency and invest in variable currency, right? Transfer currency to Canada to Canadian dollars, right? So, what will be my conversion? To Canadian dollars, I have one million US dollars. What is my spot? I'm going to transfer them today only. I'll take the loan today and I'll transfer it today. So I'll have to consider the spot rate. When I transfer today, I will get one point one six two zero Canadian dollars. So this is going to be one one six two zero four zero zero. Right, eleven lakh sixty two thousand Canadian dollars. As soon as I get this money there, I will invest it in the Canadian bank. So, <coughs> invest in Canadian dollars, right? So, if I invest in Canadian dollars, how much money will I get from there? I'm going to get. I'm investing one lakh sixty, eleven lakh sixty-two thousand. In Canada's rate of interest is five percent. For three months, someone will have to help me calculate this. Fourteen thousand five hundred and twenty-five dollars, uh, Canadian dollars, right? So at the end of three months, how much amount am I going to receive? Amount received at end of three months. At the end of three months, how much will the bank pay me back? I had given them. Eleven lakh sixty-two thousand dollars Canadian dollars plus fourteen thousand five hundred and twenty-five dollars. They are going to pay me interest. Eleven seventy-six five seven five twenty. Eleven seventy-six five twenty-five. Eleven lakh seventy-six thousand five twenty-five. As soon as I get this money, I should transfer this back to US. So reconversion to US dollars, right? How do I convert Canadian dollars to US dollars by dividing by the rate? Eleven lakh seventy-six five twenty-five. I'm going to reconvert this after three months, so I have to take my forward rate. One point one six four zero. How much is that? Ten lakh ten thousand seven sixty point. Ten lakh ten thousand seven sixty point three one dollars. Right. This is the amount that I will get on the return. <coughs> Out of that, how much has to be paid to the bank? We have already calculated that the amount payable to the bank is ten lakh ten thousand dollars. So in that case, how much is my arbitrage gain? Arbitrage gain It is nothing but I'm getting ten lakh ten thousand seven sixty point three one dollars. Out of which I have to pay ten lakh ten thousand dollars, so seven hundred and sixty point three one US dollars is my arbitrage. So just by knowing the spot rate, forward rate, and the rate of interest, you can get arbitrage gain between any two currencies. So why did we calculate that first time? To find out where should I invest and where should I borrow from. So isn't that obvious? The US rate is in four percent and Canadian interest rate is five. So not that. See, there are two factors that have to be considered while borrowing. One, you are going to earn some interest. You are earning a difference in interest, and after three months, there is going to be change in currency. So if the change in currency was negative, then even the extra interest that I was earning. Would not have been able to compensate that. For example, when I bought Canadian dollars, I bought them for one one point one six two zero. But when I wanted to reconvert them, you know, when I converted them in, when I sent them to US, when I converted from Canadian dollars to US dollars, my conversion rate was one point one six two zero. Now you will see my reconversion rate is even higher. 
So I have to find out okay, what is greater. Is the currency difference greater or the rate of interest is greater? The difference between rate of interest. So depending upon that, you find out uh, which country to borrow in, which country to sell in. There's always be there could be a chance where my rate of interest in US dollar would be greater. Yet I would uh, you know not invest in US dollar and I would invest in some other currency. I'll show you something like that. So there's like a period of to consider that you have to calculate this. Way. Yes, you will have to find out okay, what is greater. Am I going to make more money in currency difference or am I going to make more money in rate of interest? So that becomes my deciding factor as to from where should I borrow and where should I invest. Okay. Let's see another sum like this. Not given the interest rate. No, they have to give you interest rate for arbitrage. Let's see another sum like this. For example, let's consider Swiss francs. Uh, Swiss francs, 1.3615 per USD spot. Swiss francs, 1.3595 per USD six months forward. Swiss franc interest rate is 2% and US dollar interest rate is 4%. Calculate our range. Right? Now I need to find out where am I going to invest and where am I going to borrow the money from. First of all, let's write the quotation in the proper order. They have given me that USD CHF is 1.3615 spot. So how did you know that USD is the base currency? Because I am going to get so many CHF per USD. Yeah. Per whatever they give you is the base currency. USD CHF is 1.3595 6 months forward. Okay. So the first thing that you have to do is find out what is the difference in the currency between spot and future. Right? So that is going to be... Uh, guys, I think I made a mistake here. Yeah, it is. Yes. I forward minus spot upon spot. Right? So forward rate. Forward rate is 1.3595. Spot rate is 1.3615 upon spot rate. 1.3615. Right? So forward minus spot upon spot is going to give you negative... Negative. Right? So that is the difference in my currency. Now let's find out RB minus RB upon 100 into N by 12. Right? Variable currency is Swiss francs, 2. Base currency is US dollar upon 100 into N by 12, 6 by 12. Right? How much does that? Right? Negative. Just put the negative sign. Right? So this is negative 0.1 and that's negative 0 0.015. Right? So when you are doing negative, the smaller number is actually the greater. If I were to just look at the two numbers, this number is smaller. But since both of them are with negative sign, I'll say as A is greater than B. As A is greater than B. Therefore, arbitrage is possible by... Now, since A is greater, therefore, you will borrow in variable currency and invest in base currency. Borrow in variable currency and invest in base currency. Right? So let's assume that uh, I will say that amount borrowed will be 1 million of variable currency. Now my variable currency is CHF. So is 1 million assuming or is it given? No, if it is not given, you always do all your calculations on 1 million. Right? So in that case, what will be my cost of borrowing? is 1 million into 2% <coughs> into 
into 6 by 12. Someone help me calculate that? 10,000 dollars. 10,000 sorry, Swiss francs. Right? So in that case, I can say that the amount payable at the end of 6 months, I have borrowed 1 million Swiss francs plus 10,000 Swiss francs I have to pay as interest. So this is going to be 1 million 10,000. Right? Now I need to transfer this money. Right? Transfer to base currency. Base currency. Base currency is US dollars. Right? Now, you will have to be careful here. You are transferring from variable currency to base currency. That means here, how will I do the transfer? This is how many US dollars will I get? This will be conversion to USD. I have 1 million divided by the spot rate. Spot rate is 1.3615. Now tell me how many US dollars will I get? 734 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 84 
you are sending money from Swiss francs to USD. You have 1 million Swiss francs. So in that case, how many USDs will you get? Divide. Automatically. By unitary method, you will come to know divide. Because I know a lot of students who get in, confused in the examination all and come and ask me, Sir, I didn't know whether to multiply or divide. Use unitary method. That's safer. Now, again see this. USD CHF. I have after six months, after six months, <coughs> one USD is 1.3595, right? After six months, what currency do you have? You have USD, USD. so right below USD. That is, I had 74.91.73.7054. So how much CHF will I get? Cross multiply. So if you are getting confused, use the unitary method, you should be able to do this, right? Now, I'll put up a couple of sums for you all to practice of arbitrage game. Let's see how to go for practice. One USD is forty four point three nine five zero INR spot six months for gold is 45.24 right INR interest is 7% USD interest is 3% calculate arbitrage gain right so when you solve this you should get your arbitrage gain Answer for this should be 668 US dollars per million. Right? I've already explained the method to you. You should be able to do this. Right? I'll put up one more sum for you all. US dollars, Singapore dollars is no. Okay. Let me show you this later. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show you is when you have bid and ask in the currency, then how do you do arbitrage gain? Okay. So in this type we have only one, they have given you the mean rate so I have taught you how to do arbitrage gain. Right? We will stop this here for the day. Thank you very much.